Today we are doing lesson 6.2, comparing fractions, decimals, and percents. Our I can statements, I can compare in order fractions, decimals, and percents, and I can solve real life problems. All right, so in 6.1, we looked at how to write percents as both fractions and decimals, and today we're gonna learn to compare their values. So in order to compare values for fractions, decimals, and percents, we need to change them into the same form. And usually it's easier to either change them both into percents or change them both into decimals, because when we compare with fractions, we need um, a common denominator. All right, so let's see, 13, or I'm sorry, 3 20 or 16%. So I'm gonna change 3 20 into a percent so I can compare the percents. I know one way I can change it into a decimal and then a percent, or I can make it into a fraction over 100 because I know a fraction out of 100 means percent. And I happen to know that 20 times five equals 100. So that means I can do three times five. That gives me 15 out of 100, which is 15%. All right, so 15% is less than 16%. 16% is the one that's greater. All right, let's take a look at our next one, which is greater 79% or 8 um, hundredths. So let's see, I'll change 79% into a decimal on this one. We'll make them both decimal um, versions. 0 0.79, that's going to be greater than Eight hundredths. If I'm comparing the place values, I look at my tenths first. It's the largest place value I have in both. Seven is bigger than zero. So which one is greater? Seventy-nine percent. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and try these two. Okay, let's check our answers. Seven over twenty-five. I'm going to make a percent. I know I can do times four, times four to make my fraction something over 100. Seven times four is 28, and 25 times four is 100. So that means that is equal to 28%. So 25% is going to be less than 28%. So our answer is 7 25 This is the type of work we're expecting to see on your paper for these types of problems. All right, let's look at the next one, which is greater 49 hundredths or 94%. I made the last one percent, so we'll make these ones um, decimals. One, two places over. 49 hundredths is going to be less than 94 hundredths. The ones place value is the same, but when we compare the tenths, nine tenths is greater than four tenths. So 94% is gonna be the greater one. For a second type of problem, here we have a story problem. You, your sister, and a friend each take the same number of shots at a soccer goal. You make 72% of your shots. Your sister makes 19 25ths of her shots, and your friend makes 67 hundredths of his shots. Who made the fewest shots? Okay, so we need to put them all into the same form. We're gonna start by just listing them out. So you, yours was 72%. Sister was 9 25ths, 19 25ths, sorry. Friend is 67 hundredths. Okay, and let's see, for this one, I'll change them all into a decimal. 72% as a decimal would be 72 hundredths. 19 25ths, when I change a fraction into a decimal, remember we divide 19 divided by 25. 25 does not go into 19 a whole number of times, so I add a zero and a decimal and a decimal and a zero. 25 goes into 190 and let's see, that's gonna be seven times. Seven times 25 is 175. When I subtract, zero minus five takes me to the negative, so I borrow, that's gonna be an eight. This is gonna be a 10. 10 minus five is five. 
8 minus 7 is 1. So I have 15. I need to add a 0, bring it down. That's going to be 150. I know that 25 goes into 150 six times exactly. So here I have 76 hundredths. All right, so here it says who made the fewest shots? That's the smallest number. 67 hundredths is smaller than 72 hundredths and 76. So friend made the fewest. Again, this is the type of work we're expecting to see on your paper. We need to see how you converted these into the same form, whether it's percent or decimal. Whatever work you did to change it, that's what we need to see. All right, let's look at this one. You made 75% of your shots. Your sister, sister makes 13 20ths of her shot, and Fran makes 7 tenths of his shot. Who made the most shots? Go ahead and pause the video and try it on your own. All right, let's check our answers. This time we want to know the most. You, 75%. Sister, 13 twentieths. Friend, seven tenths. Last one I did all decimals, so this one I'll do all percents. Okay, so 13 twentieths, I know I can make that something out of 100, so I know the percent, and I do that by doing 20 times 5 is 100, so 13 times 5, that I'm going to do off to the side here, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6, so I have 65 one hundredths, which is 65 percent. And then for the friend, we move the decimal two places over. We do need a placeholder zero. It's going to be 70%. So who made the most shots? You. 75% is bigger than 60% or 70%. So you made the most shots. Once you compare or change them into the same form, don't forget to compare to figure out which one is the most. All right, last problem here. The map shows the portions of the U.S. population that live in five states. List the five states in order by population from least to greatest. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video, and try this one on your own. Okay, let's go ahead and check our answers. So I'm going to make these all percents. doesn't really matter which form you use, but I'm going to do percents. So if I know I take 1 times 2, I get 2, and 50 times 2 gives me 100. So 2 out of 100 is 2 percent. 3 hundredths, if I move my decimal two places over, gives me 3 percent. New York is already percent, 6 percent. I know 1 25th times 4 over 4 gives me 4 out of 100. That's going to be 4%. And then California is 12 hundredths. I move the decimal over 12%. Okay. It says to list the five states in order, least to greatest. Okay. So my smallest number is 2%. That's Washington. I'm going to use the state abbreviations here, Washington. 3% comes next, that's Michigan. 4% is next in our list, that's Ohio. New York comes next. And our last one, California. 